were about a block away from where you appeared at a pro hydrofracking rally on a, on Monday early afternoon. That is one issue that, of course, it pretty much eclipses every other environmental issue in the state. Uh, are you concerned, as are many other uh, proponents of fracking, and you've been j one of the strongest, I'd say, in the legislature, that the governor is in any way delaying the move towards approving it? What I said today, will continue to say moving forward, is that the governor needs to make a decision. Uh, I ask him uh, as a colleague in many respects, as a friend, someone who uh, I have great respect for, um, make a decision before the end of the year. Uh, the economy of the southern tier in upstate New York depends on it. Um, people's lives, uh, people are, are waiting for the opportunity. It can be done in an environmentally safe measure. I honestly believe that. We can let the science dictate, and I think the science will dictate that it can be done safely. That would require getting the health impact assessment done before the end of the year. We're, I don't think it's even been a month now since the DEC put that before the DOH. Do you really think that any health assessment that's done in two, two and a half months is going to pass muster with those who, who uh, care about such I'm, things? I'm, Even I'm, people in the middle, I would sure. say. Casey, I'm going to say something and it's going to, going to cause a stir. Um, I believe that the health department, uh, long before uh, this decision to have them do a health assessment, uh, I think they know what the health assessment is. I think it's something, it's been four years in the making. Um, I sat on the advisory committee that hasn't met in quite some time. We had presentations back then by the health department. I think they're well aware of what the impact is. I think the studies are done. Uh, I think it's just a matter of um, making a decision and moving forward.